Hello, YouTube land. I'm Sarah, and it's another adventure of being Sarah, and yes, it's another floss tube. So, evidently, Friday night seems to be a good night for me to film, at least for now. I don't know how long that will continue, but we'll see. Um, let's see. Oh, sorry, I was trying to read my notes here, and I was like, wow, that doesn't look like the word since, because I said since the last time I filmed. <sighs> yeah. So, um, it's been a fairly busy week, stitchy wise, at least for me. Um, I hope it's been nice and stitchy related for you as well. Um, go ahead and mute that. Sorry. Silly computer stuff. Um, let's see. Um, I have a little bit of haul. Um, I have a finish, a couple of starts, you know, stuff like that. So let's start with uh, my starts. Um, one of them I started and finished in a day, and I'll get to that when I get to finishes. Um, uh, it was on a, uh, what they call an estate towel which is kind of like the fingertip towel, except it's like fancy. Uh, and it came with this um, free pattern, which I'm not going to show you the pattern, but it's a stitched cardinal, and there's um, strawberry, like, there's a stitched cardinal, and then there's strawberries around it. I really think of cardinal faces that way. Um, yeah. And evidently, there are six free designs that DMC had done for these estate towels, and I saw an Oriole and the Cardinal, which I obviously bought the Cardinal one. Because evidently I'm on a Cardinal kick. And I, I realize it's because of Stitcherisa's Deck the Hall Stitch With Me videos. Yeah, I think that's why. But I was like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. I need to get them all. Well, you can't get them all just, just to get them all. I think there's like... A finch or a chickadee or something like that, and hummingbird. I'm pretty sure there's a hummingbird, and then and then there's it, there's evidently six of them. Well, you can't just find all six. So, and like I I I looked for it online and I found it found them at this office supply.com or something like that. And they were very not helpful when I asked them a simple question of, is it possible to get the different, if I order six of them, is it possible to get the different free patterns? Or do you have just one? And they didn't understand it at all. I'm like, well, it's not that difficult of a question. I, I promise you it's really not that difficult of a question. Um, but they were... Uh, were just really not at all helpful. We'll just put it that way. So it's like, never mind. I'm not going to order anything from you guys. Too bad. I would have ordered six of them. Well, something like that. Probably. Anyway. So, the other one that I started, which was last night, because I was like, oh my gosh, I started something. Now I want to start something else. Start all the things. No, not really. But this was something that I was like, ooh, yes, yes, yes. I must do this one. Because it's a poppy thing. And let's see. You know, out of the way. So not much of a start. It's this petal right here, but it's it's a nice little one. I really wish I knew what what was written behind it. You can kind of see some of the words behind it, but you can't. It's some of it's hard to read, um, and of course there's poppies in front of it, so that's a, that's a little bit annoying. So I kind of wish it, you know, it said what it was. Oh yeah. Or put the needle back in there. Or I'll be like, where's my needle? Let's 
And since this is being difficult, just get in the bag. You can argue with me later. Just get in the bag. Um, let's see. I got some more done on... technical difficulties with the floss. I got some more done on 161. I'm trying to, I have, I have this many pulled and um, marked on the chart and I want to get the ones on the bottom row of the ones that I've pulled done and then go to the next and the next and etc etc because most of the ones that I've pulled including the black have hundreds of stitches, like 600 or more stitches. So it's not going to go as quickly as like these greens and this bluish color that only have like 130, 140 or something like that. So I worked on that. That was my work in progress. Oh, wait, that's right. I did pull out. I did pull this out. I almost forgot. Um, I also pulled out this and got another row. It's it's taking a long time. It's it's black stitching. There's no confetti, which is great. But I get bored. But I did get another row of this done. I probably will do a bit more of this before I put it away. I don't know. It seemed like I was I had the the uh, needle minder up and around in this area up there and I don't know if you can see it but it kind of you can kind of see it almost looks like there's a mark there so I don't know I'm not gonna leave I, that's why I moved my needle minder way down here so that way if it does leave, leave a mark it's not gonna show because that part will be cut off or hidden within a hoop so I did do a little of that because I was like, I want to stitch something else that's not 161 or the gargoyles. So that leads me to finish, which the finish this is the back, this is the, or this is the top half or whatever the towel. Uh, it's got this neat, fancy um, texture to it, and I will give you a little background of why I stitched this. Um, one of my friends who I game with, um, she likes the legend of Krampus, and she has a t-shirt, and it says, Groups from Krampus, and it has a picture of Krampus on it. So, I decided it would be funny to see if there was a, a pattern on Etsy that basically said the same thing. I found one. Uh, it's a little Etsy shop called Bomba Stitches. Um, and then there's some other ones that I thought were hilarious in that sh in that shop. There's a, a Godzilla holding out a pumpkin like trick-or-treating. There's a Valentine's Day one as well, but I like the trick-or-treating one better. And then there's um, one that has a little B and it says underneath is his mine. That's adorable. Two dollars, people. For all of these. That I'm telling about. And then the one that I'm kind of thinking about getting and stitching for the boyfriend is, I like you, you're neat, or something like that, which is just ridiculous, but endearing at the same time. So, without any further ado, here is the Krampus towel that I stitched in a day. Pattern was $2 from Bomba Stitches on Etsy. The, I decided to go with three stitches. This is um, 16 count on this towel. Um, so I went ahead and did three, three strands for the black and two for the rest. And I think it turned out very well. And my friend is not going to know anything about it because I don't think she watches my videos. We'll put that over there. And then... The next thing that I have on my list of lists here is haul. So 
some of the haul I left on the kitchen table because I forgot where it was. And I decided I didn't feel like going back out to the kitchen. Um, some of that was uh, some sheets of plastic canvas. I picked up like six sheets of plastic canvas, I think 10 count or something like that. Um, and then I also, they had the prism, like the, the box of variegated floss. It's not DMC, I think it's prism. And they show like making friendship bracelets out of it. I was like, well, you know, it's not like this is really, you know, charted for any specific floss or whatever. You just make hearts. So I got that, those two things at Michael's on Monday when I, I was like, oh yeah, I was looking for a towel. Um, yeah, that was, that was a bust. Uh, AC Moore and Michael's very much let me down when it came to towel. I was like, really? Seriously? You can get, you have just the, even the simple ones. And evidently I used the last one years ago. So I had the tuck towels and I washed that, but I didn't, I didn't really want to put on a hot towel. I wanted to put on a towel like that because, or just the regular little fingertip towel because, you know, it's just nicer and it's weird. <laughs> and she'll put it in her bathroom. <laughs> That's the intent. Um, so yeah. Uh, i trying to remember what Oh, that's right. I just remembered the other thing that I, well, these other two things are also what I got on Monday at Michael's. Um, okay. Yes, I did. Sorry. No. No. This I got at uh, Michael's, the other thing I got at, no, yes, Joanne's with the towel. Oh my lord, my brain is all over the place today. Like, ever since last week, my brain has just been fried. I mean, I didn't even run the Pathfinder game on Sunday, which I was supposed to, um, because one of my players was sick, and my brain just, I'm like, I can't deal with four timelines, four PC timelines, I just, I can't deal with it. So, hopefully, things would be much better this week. Okay, so, back to Michael's. I had gotten the plastic canvas and the, um, the prism floss. And then, I came around the corner, and I saw something sparkly and gray, and thought of my sister. Don't look, sister. If you're watching this video, look away. Unless you want spoilers. So, oh, um, plug yours. So I got this. It's sparkly. It's sparkly scrubby. Um, I've gotten the scrubby. You're supposed to make, like, dish cloths out of it. And so I thought it would be hilarious to knit up some dish cloths and send them to her because it's sparkly sparkly and gray and she likes sparkly things and she her favorite color is gray and it's a lot softer than the other scrubby stuff that I've gotten the noise I'm gonna put that down so I stop petting it because I will continue to pet it hey there's a random hair thingy I don't know where that came from So I thought that would be hilarious to knit up a few easy squares or whatever and send them up to her. <laughs> and she'd be like, what is this? It's dish scrubby. And then the boyfriend was like, you should do them like um, the steel wool things where you, you make a, there's a pouch and you put a bar of soap in it. I'm like, oh. and he was like, well, do you think you'd add a flap or so it could be removable, which I'm like, hmm. I wonder how I would do that. But that is a good idea. So the other thing that I got at Joann's with the towel, it's like, what, 
what, what did I stitch on? Sorry, the towel um, is, I haven't used pearl cotton in like forever. So the colors are kind of a bit washed out and bluish looking, but it's got um, red, white, and green, and it's that number of the DMC pearl cotton for the hearts. I thought that would be nice. So, in the bag, you know. I still have yet to actually like start one of the hearts, but you know, it's it's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Oh, and also on Monday, was it Monday? Yeah, it must have been Monday, I think. Crud, I don't remember. But I finally made it over. Yes, it was, because Tuesday was that really awful, yucky, snowy mess around here. We didn't get much, but still. That's right, because I looked at Michael's, and then I went to Sally's, and then I went to Food Lion for food. And their chicken nuggets, the Food Lion chicken nuggets, are really good. I don't know if you've had them, but they're really good. And they also have some very tasty seltzer water. And, I, and you're probably like, ew, seltzer water? Ew. But I seriously love just plain seltzer water. I like the bubbles. I don't necessarily need the caffeine. But I like the caffeine. I like in soda. But I really like just straight seltzer water with the bubbles. And so, yeah. I like the stuff that doesn't have the aspartame sweetness in there. Because, yuck. But, the, the Food Lion brand, they had, they had plain, they had mandarin orange. I think they had, like, a lemon lime. I'm, I'm not entirely for sure. Anyway, and then they had peach mango. That's so good. So, of course, I got two, because I'm like, I love peaches and mangoes, and I'll drink it anyway, even if it's not the best. But it is. And so... Um, it takes a while to, for me to finish a, a, cause it's a large bottle of, of seltzer water. So it takes me a little bit to finish them. So it was kind of funny cause I was like, Ooh, I have peach mango to watch mango tea, which if you like drama stuff, you would probably enjoy his channel. I quite, I find him quite entertaining. And so, but meanwhile, I'll go back to Sally's. Um, I went to Sally's because I was running out of Quick Dry Taco. Both the Out the Door and the Sash Feed are like so far down that I'm like having to tip and be like, can I get enough for a nail? <gasps> oh, I can. I like my dry, Quick Dry Taco. So I got the Out the Door. Sometimes Sash Feed shrinks from the cuticles for me. So sometimes I just prefer to use the Out the Door out the door, even though that is a little more expensive than I remember, but hey, whatever. Uh, it works very well. There's a reason it's called out the door, because you can slap it on and go out the door. So I got one of those, and then I got a bottle of Sesh Feet, and the Sesh Feet said, buy a Sesh Feet and get a free China Glaze. So yes, I did, and I took it off this morning um, before I dyed my hair and hopped in the shower. Um, but I was kind of lazy when I used this particular polish. I had left the, um, the Hell on Wheels, the fingertip, or the tips. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to paint over it. It'll be okay, right? I could still see the, uh, I could still see the tips, but it didn't bother me like visible nail line would. I don't know if this is a three coat or not, but it was kind of fascinating. It looked kind of like a gradient, and I didn't do anything. It was neat. I liked it. Maybe next time I'll do the tips and then sort of sponge up with the red or something. And it was really kind of fascinating because here's the polish. And it's sort of a plummy sort of look, but it's got a definite blue shimmer to it. It's called Reggae to Riches. I did two coats, and I could still see the tips. 
But I'm thinking that it would be really cool to do that, the tips, but like sponge it up so it will show kind of interesting. I don't know. I haven't really figured that out. But this was really pretty and it changes in the lights. It really does. Like you would think, or and also with the, the whole nail tip thing, you would think that that part would look more plum, but no, the parts of the tip where the it was over the hell on wheels, it looked bluer. It was fascinating. It really was. I don't know, you're probably like, why is she babbling about nail polish? I don't care. Um, oh, and then we come to the piece de as the stalls, which it is going to be after a little bit of a story. The story is that I love eBay. I love eBay. Now, I've gotten some questionable things on there. Not questionable, like, why did you buy that? Although some of that... Not like, ew, you bought a ooh, sort of thing. But I, like, I had gotten, um, sorry, like a portable DVD player that didn't work. And I got my money back for it. It was just a pain in the ass. Oh, well. But the first thing, I've been on eBay um, since 2004 when I worked in an accounting department at a real estate company. Uh, I was the person that paid all the real estate agents. So they knew my name very well. They were like, they'd be like, why did I get paid? Because uh, you didn't get the closing to me before the deadline. There's a deadline. Yeah. I really liked that job. I still miss that job. I would go back to that job in a heartbeat, but it's that's no longer even there. Anyway, so the first thing that I ever bought on eBay was my oboe. Um, when I was in high school and middle school, I had to use the school oboe and I had, I had to teach myself how to play the oboe. Nobody else was interested in it. And up until my senior year, I was the only oboe. I was also the only bassoon when I got to high school and started, I taught myself in the 10th grade how to play bassoon. So of course I do use the school bassoon as well, but I, I really wanted my own oboe. I asked for it every year for Christmas. I mean, I even wrote Santa Claus at age 16. Santa sent me an oboe. That obviously didn't work. And I know it's because mom really didn't have the money to get me an oboe. And it's not like I really would have like gone on to be like a professional oboe player by any means. I was I've never been that good of a musician or whatever. Fast notes, I don't like them. My fingers don't work that fast. I'm not a fan of sixteenth notes. Anyway, so of course when high school ended, I had to give the oboe back. But as I said, I always asked for an oboe for Christmas, and I my really only requirement was that I wanted a low B flat because I remember there was an oboe solo to, I think it was Dante's Inferno was the name of the piece. It was based on the poem and there was an oboe solo and it had a low B flat. Well, not all oboes have a low B flat. They have all the way up to low B, but not B flat. That's the utmost range, low part of the range. So, the band director did not like it when I would pop up to the octave above it. Plus, there was that whole weird thing with me where, I want the solo, I want the solo. Oh my god, they can hear me. Did they hear that? Yeah. That, that, was, that was Sarah all through it. Yeah. So, he rewrote it for the... Um, alto sax, which it sounded fine on the alto sax. So the first thing that I look for on eBay is an oboe. I think it cost me three, 325 bucks. <coughs> Excuse me. The coughing and the, the itchy nose and stuff is real people. So, 
I have been on eBay for a long time. That was the point of the story. I mean, that's how I discovered white wool stitching was I found her designs on eBay. Yes, at once upon a time, she sold them on eBay. Um, she may eventually go back to that for like discontinued patterns or something like that, like sell off stock or whatever. But that's nothing definite at this point. But it would still be kind of cool to be able to be like, I got that. Sorry. I'm weird when it comes to that sort of stuff. I love finding vintage patterns on there. I love finding weird vintage cartoon character cross-stitch kits. Like the herself the elf. <laughs> Sorry. I'm going to have to take a drink. So, where am I leading with this? There's an actual point. Um, I mean, the the uh, three cardinal kits that I showed you, like, you guys last time. Got all those off of eBay. I love eBay. So, when I was a girl, pre-teen actually. Well, no, I guess I was an early teen-ish. Yeah, something like that. When I had first started cross-stitching, I, I would go up to visit my grandma in New York uh, and stay with her for a few weeks or a couple months or whatever, a month maybe, I don't know. It's a little hard to remember after all this time. Um, and she had gotten a few years worth of a cross-stitch magazine, cross-stitch and country crafts, and she wasn't going to do them. So she's like, do you want them? I'm like, yes. Yes, please. Give me. Yes, I was, I totally was like that. I, I read them back to front, upside down, to forwards, to whatever. Like, I practically memorized what was in each one. It's like reading a book over and over and over again. So they're like old friends too, almost. So, and I had collected some of the other ones some of the earlier ones, etc., etc. But I was like, man, I would love to be able to get all of them. That would be so cool. And so I, I thought I was going to get one. There was this lot that had like 51 of them, 51 issues. And people were bidding on them. It was a biddable one. It wasn't a buy now, buy it now. Because I would have bought it now if it was a decent Decent price. It was like 25 bucks plus shipping. Oh, buy it now. I would have bought it now. I would have I would have been I would have bought it five minutes ago. But no, it was a bid one and somebody had put a bid on it. Well, somebody had put a bid on it, so it was no longer buy it now no matter what, unless it, there was no reserve price met. Unless there was a reserve price and it wasn't met. Wow, I should like think about these things and then say it. So anyway, so one person had bid. I was like, okay, well, I'll put in a bid, see what happens. Because it was like two days or a day and a half or something like that. And somebody else came in and bid. I was like, okay. And then somebody else, then somebody bid me. I'm like, okay, no. And then this jerk face came in and bid it up way. Bid it, bid pretty high. And so I'm like, oh, really? okay, well, screw up a whole bunch of you. I'm going to figure out what it is, and if you really want it, you're going to have to pay for it. And I know that makes me sound petty, and I really don't care because those were supposed to be mine. I get a little passionate about the cross-stitch and country crafts. Anyway, so, then this person comes back and outbids me. I'm like, Oh, no, 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 no. So I bid again. I'm the highest bidder. And it goes back and forth for a little bit. And meanwhile, I had found a lot with 85 Cross Stitch and Country Crafts and Cross Stitch and Needlework magazines in it. And I was like, I don't really want to pay as much as they have it down for. So I put in an offer. And the offer was accepted. And I had already started bidding on, I was 
still winning at this point on the 51 thing. And I'm like, you know what? I can, I can sell them if I win. I can, I can get them and then sell the ones I have duplicates of. That'll work. And who knows, this jerk is probably kind of come back and outbid me anyway. And, um, the end time was going to be two hours after I would have left to go to the boyfriend's. We didn't play on Saturday, but either way, I would have had internet access to check the audi uh, auditions. Auction. I would have been able, I still would have been able to check the auction to see if I was winning or not. Um, yay, internet. But I don't use the internet at the boyfriend, so. And, and it wasn't something that I was like, oh my god, I must know. So I knew I was probably going to get outbid. But I was like, okay, just like with the goth Felici yarn. I was like, okay, if you really want it, you can have it, but you're going to pay for it. So I had bid, outbid that jerk. And then sometime between when I had left, when I had started getting ready and left, and obviously it won, like the auction ended, they came back and outbid me, which of course I didn't know about until I got back home. And with four seconds to go, somebody swooped them. I have a screenshot of it. That that brought me much joy. And I know I'm petty on that. And frankly, I do not care. Because they were supposed to be mine in the first place. But, as I said, my offer was accepted. So basically... And they should, they should have, with the shipping, the box came, and the box was all beat to hell. Like, the only reason that they were all still in there, and I counted, it was weird, because I, like, counted, and at first it was 84, and then it was 87. I'm like, yeah, but then, like, I can't count. I'm just gonna, it. Because I looked through all of them, and I looked at the dates that were in the listing, and the ones that, there were like five that were missing, that they said were going to be missing. So when I got to them, I'm like, okay, this, da, 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 da. They were all there. So I'm going to say it's 85. I don't know. They're heavy, by the way. If you have ever lifted 85 magazines, cross this magazines, those things are heavy. The box was all beat to hell. Like, the only reason that they were all still in there is because they, the person used, like, I swear, a third of a roll of crystal tape or something. Anyway. So I decided... Okay, let's see if I can lift this. I should not be lifting this. This is very bad. <laughs> my wrists are going to hurt. I have gone through this many of them of marking down what I want to stitch. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Sorry, that was my mom. Oh, sorry. So I still have this much more to do. There's so many pretty things in here. The, the only one so far that I seem to be missing that I'm going to need to track down another copy of is in this one. The cover one, somebody took, somebody took page three and four out. Really? Jerk face. I like that one. I almost think it was reissued or something like that in something. I don't know. But, so, yeah, that's my uh, nifty eBay haul. And so my plans, I have plans. Where my, oh, there it is. I have plans. Um, so my plan is to work a little bit more on the heart. And then, of course, on 
161, because 161 isn't going to stitch herself by November 11th. And of course, I still, of course, need to get further on the gargoyle. So my goal is to try to get more, of course, of the of the border. Plus, I just want to show that off again because it's pretty. Just put you over here. And the rest of the night, I'm going to finish going through these magazines, and I'm not sure what else. But um, oh, that's right. I also want to do start. I need to find a nice jar or something, because something that Stitcherisa had said in one of her, I forget which one it was. Go watch her. She she has lots of videos. You can binge her for days. Um, but uh, one thing that she said in one of her recent videos was she's going to do a memorable things jar, where. It's supposed to be every day or something like that, or memorable things. I don't know. But you write down memorable, memorable things, and then at the end of the year, you pull them out, and you see what your year was like, or whatever. And I've heard another version of this, that Jen to the... Jen Dent, um, Jen to the Dent, or Jen to the Dent, or whatever. I, my brain just went... She's on YouTube. Um, she was on Vine, and now she does YouTube videos. Ow, ow, my, uh, sorry. My left leg just decided it was going to hurt. Um, but she was doing this last year where she would write down, she was supposed to write down one good thing every day. And then she read some of them out on camera. So I've started writing them down. Started writing them down, and then I'll put them on little pieces of paper or something. And uh, I may do that at the end of the year. I don't know. I haven't really decided. So, um, if you guys want, um, I can I can do magazine walkthroughs with you guys, flip throughs, or I can show you guys which ones I'm interested in of these because. Some of these are really interesting, some of them not so much. There have been some issues that I'm like, mm, I don't know, it's kind of cute. Mm, I want to stitch it. But then, then I came across one and I'm like, oh my gosh, I must stitch this. So, uh, let me know. And uh, the next video I think will probably be the, I keep meaning to do the 2017 year review thing. So, yes, thank you. Um, we're at about 38 minutes, and so I'll talk to you later. Okay, bye.